Hey guys, GNT here, and today I want to talk about Dragon Ball Super, Episode 78. Yeah, usually I don't do these because, you know, nothing interesting. I, I Unless an episode really is exciting to me, I don't really talk about it like that. And with Super, if I was just a person who pointed out negative stuff, I could talk about every episode, <laughs> but I look for positivity. <laughs> but anyway with this episode they basically explained the rules of the tournament and they said they were having an exhibition match between Universe 9 and 7 and what I was hoping for when they said that was that 9 would just be an amazing group you know they, they said they were bringing 3 people from that universe I thought they would just be beastly and not literally because they're actually beastly creatures but still I thought they would come in be super powerful you know, this is what I was hoping for. I knew they wouldn't do it, but I was hoping for it. That they would just come in and wipe the floor with all three of them, you know? And that way, it would set up some type of, you know, fear that Goku and his squad can actually lose, you know? Like, that's always the problem with anime like this. You think, hmm, yes, this is, it's Goku, there's no way they're going to let him just, you know, lose. But when you add in people who mop the floor with Goku, it's like, haha. It's, it's, it's like when they fought, um, uh, friggin' Zamasu. Zamas, however you want to say that. And, you know, they were beating the crap out of these guys. You're like, haha, awesome. Or at least I was like, haha, awesome. I like the black Goku way better than regular Goku. Like, I was upset when regular Zamas came out there and fused with him. I was like, ah, dang it. The fun guy's gone. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, I want that type of thing. I'm like, for the initial thing, they show you that these guys are going to be super powerful. But here's the thing, when they brought out Universe 9 and I saw it was those wolf people, I guess wolf people, could be dog people, whatever, when they brought them out there, I immediately said, ah, that's the wolf guy that Goku's gonna stomp. <laughs> that's the wolf guy that Goku is going to beat into the dirt. You know, and that's, it's a little bit disappointing. Even with this first match that they started, the guy versus Boo, it looks like this guy is weak, you know? It's, uh, there's no real feeling of, I think Boo might lose, you know? There's zero chance of Boo losing unless something stupid happens. Like, at first, when they started and he was asleep, I was like, oh no! That means they're going to throw Gohan out there first, and he's probably going to lose his match. But, they woke him up, and he went to fight. Huh. <sighs> it's, it's, I don't know. I guess it'll be entertaining to watch, you know, next week when they finish up that fight. But, goodness. I'm not all that excited. I'm sorry, just just not. I'm more excited for the regular tournament now because that's when we'll see the people that can actually put up a decent fight. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it's going to be. And I see why they didn't bring Vegeta because Vegeta's like at Goku level of there's not many people that will be able to beat him, you know? By bringing Boo and Gohan, which... I'm a big Gohan fan, but I know that Gohan is not anywhere near of level to be important. Like most of the people that they're bringing for this tournament aren't of a level of power that should be, you know, seen as important. So you know that a lot of people are going to be weaker in order to fight these characters that you're bringing in. 
Like, who the flip? How could an enemy that's at Goku's level ever, and I mean ever, lose to Krillin? You know? So, it's just, uh, it's kind of sad. Not really. Uh, I don't even know how I would explain it. <laughs> I think I've, I've done the best that I can in explaining how I feel about this. I really like Gohan, but he's not great. Unless he's Saiyan Man. <laughs> but no, seriously, he's just not, he's not powerful enough. And that's just the way it is. Like, unless they give him some extreme power boost, which would then feel extremely stupid, he's not at a level where he would be able to take on any Goku-leveled enemies. Unless they do a stupid Trunks thing. Ugh. That was like the worst thing out of that whole uh, saga. Out of that whole arc. Freaking Trunks having a random power-up. And that's what, what would screw up the whole Gohan thing. But, I think I'm going to stop here. Because now I'm starting to just go on and talk about the series as a whole and what I think about it instead of just this episode which was interesting not great not bad you know but I'm looking forward to next week see you guys next time peace out have a great day and tell me what you thought about this alright